The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. the most unliked person on the face of the fucking planet. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Good news, Scotty. I actually heard a rumor about some guy in uh, Alaska who okay. doesn't mind yet. Okay. Nice. So I'm good with that. He actually he puts uh, at least three people lower than you on their <laughs> shit list. So oh, perfect. Yeah. All right. So I'm not so the there, most there's hated. always hope. Good. And also the wreck himself. We like to call him. Well, never mind. Wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. I can't even tell you. I can't even say your name. Right. You're that excited to introduce me? Nah. I can fucking smell your wrists from here. By the way, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My wrists? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Did you not wash your fucking wrists today? That is weird, <laughs> Scotty. Why would you wash your entire body except for your wrists? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. You got the hands really good, got the forearms, but nope, wrists can suck it. What yeah. Is, what does it smell like? It smells like fucking onions and oh. old Corn parts. Corn chips. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Fucking wet dog. All right. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Well, anyways, guys, welcome in. If this is your very first time ever listening to this podcast, first of all, it <laughs> is an adult self conscious <laughs> now about his fucking wrist. <laughs> He's like, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck you both. <laughs> This is a comedy podcast where we like to make really inappropriate jokes about the current events and apparently Scotty's uh, wrists. Ev- events in history. <laughs> Scotty and his stacked fucking wrists. <laughs> current events in sports and also things that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Scooter All- Funk Wrist <laughs> McFuck Stick. Also. Stanky wrists. <laughs> this is an adult podcast where we like to, to basically use really foul language, foul language and make really loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. <sighs> okay. Hey, guys. Yeah. Quit making fun of my goddamn wrist. Okay. Jesus. I was rubbing them in all kinds of places before you guys got here. I can't believe you caught that one. Have you ever taken your watch off? Yeah. Oh, doesn't smell like it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. You smell like the inside of a sweatband. It's, <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> smells like month old suntan lotion. So great. Uh, we got a lot of things on the show. Minus the coconut. <laughs> we've yeah. got we've got some NCAA football news today. Surprisingly enough, we've got some uh, baseball Tis news. The season, obviously. Uh, and then uh, we're getting close. Uh, well, we're kind of in the kind of in the middle of March, so obviously we're going to have March Madness. And then we have some news coming from the NFL. Questions, preguntas, and another draft. But as always, we like to start off our show every week with our week, week recap, telling about how we uh, did over the last week. And as always, Jeremy. Yeah. Sup. Sup. <laughs> well, how did you do with you? What did you do with the week, man? I'm not comfortable with you knowing that information, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> so take your headphones off while I talk about this. All right. Fair. I, I did so much stuff. Actually, I didn't... Um, Basically, I worked out. Put your fucking headphones back on. You're fucking up the whole podcast. Well, Jesus I'm, Christ, the whole goddamn thing went off the rails. I'm just following instructions. That's it. Okay. And then I fucked his sister. And uh, um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, I uh, basically either worked out in the yard or out in my uh, garage building shit out of wood. Just basically anything I could do to uh, enjoy this delicious weather we're having. So what were you doing Jeez. in the yard? Were you doing push-ups, sit-ups? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Running in place. I, I was, planks. I was we doing some planks. I was planking. Yeah. And oddly enough, in my own backyard, never once got to photobomb anybody. Just uh, <laughs> really weird. I, I planked. I T-bowed. Yeah. I, um, I did that thing from that movie, The Program, where I laid down in the middle of the highway. That was fucking weird. Damn, he didn't get hit. Yeah, I got hit, Scotty. I'm just uh, tough. totally. He took out I'm, two cars. <laughs> I'm fucking tough. Okay, Jesus Christ, I fucked up a PT Cruiser <laughs> with a 60 day tag on mm-hmm. it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was an 04, so it was one of the nicer ones on the road. Still, <laughs> this is why if you don't listen to our lives before yeah. our episode, you need to. It's check on you, it out. dickheads. <laughs> That's um, right. 
<laughs> but uh, let's see. Um, I saw something then on my way over here. Okay. Okay. I got nothing against somebody who drives a minivan. Sometimes you just have to. Your situation calls for it. Maybe somebody gave you one and it's all you could afford or whatever. Um, but when somebody paints flames on it, <laughs> that is funny once. <laughs> that will make your buddies laugh one time. And then you're stuck with a fucking minivan <laughs> with a stupid fucking paint job on it. That's that's like getting a fucking neck tattoo of an inside joke with your buddies. <laughs> They'll giggle once, and then that's it. Yeah. The joke's over, and you're stuck with a dumb fucking neck tattoo. It's Jeremy getting the, the linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys tattoo on his neck. That's right. <laughs> Dandy Don. Huh? Dandy Don. Dandy Don Meredith. Yeah. Um, wow. We could spend hours just doing that and nobody would ever get nobody it. Nobody gets it. And I have a feeling with some of our listeners, they'd still listen. Yeah, That's probably. It's just so fucked up. No. I mean, I can't tell you how much I, I really develop my creativity as a comedian really developing the art of the spoken word only to find out that the stuff that really hits are fart and fuck jokes. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what our audience is really into. So uh, uh, let's see. Oh, and then kind of a monumentous moment happened on Sunday. Um, Got in a fight at Lowe's? Nope. No, that, Damn. that's old hat. That's a... Uh, that's just fucking Sunday. Um, you don't come to Jeremy's yard and throw hands. Mm-mm. No, unless you're the Lord on Sunday. <laughs> and then I'll still kick your ass. Uh, no, I uh, marked the exact halfway point of um, my wife getting Christmas shit put away. <laughs> She's still putting shit away? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's March, dude. Okay, it, some weird situations with some management changes at her work had her basically fucking working 16 hour days for like three weeks mm. straight and God, including weekends. And so Oof. she had to fucking back burner everything oh, man. for a while. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a fucked up situation. But uh, I'm still giving her a lot of shit about it. <laughs> so yeah, I bet you haven't had clean clothes or nothing. No. No, not not Asian clean anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe that wasn't Scotty's wrists. No, maybe it's you. <laughs> well, I mean, I still do my own laundry. I just do it in the toilet. Um, <laughs> nice. Huh? Is that all you got? Uh, yeah, I just building shit and working outside. What the fuck did you do? It's so goddamn great. <laughs> I don't know. We don't uh, want to hear about it. I want to uh, hear Derek's first. It's probably better. Yeah, it is. Derek. Uh, well, I played some PlayStation Five. Fuck you. I picked one of those up. Boom. Uh, yeah, we heard last week. Yeah. No, I didn't. I told you. I didn't tell the, the listeners. No, you told, told us on the air. No, we didn't. No. This is fucking week week recap. Go back. You guys don't listen to the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> so I played some Nor PS5. should you. And then, it's all uh, fart and fuck jokes. <laughs> I went to Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Delaware. Dallas, Delaware. Nice. Uh, my my buddy had uh, gotten some stuff framed. There's a guy he uses down there to... Frame up jerseys and stuff like that. And god damn, they look great. Yeah, yeah they did. And then we went to uh, Hard Eight, which is a barbecue place down there. Okay. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's what I give my wife after I fuck her four times. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the barbecue up in Delaware can't be very good. Oh, that's Del- That's the barbecue capital of the world. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas, Delaware. Uh, yeah. That's a mix of Nashville, North Carolina, Kansas City, and Texas. <laughs> all in one. Just a spritz of St. Louis uh-huh. on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just a little salt from the ocean. That's, uh, <laughs> that's their twist they put on it. Yeah. So we didn't get time to make it up to the Gangster Rap Hall of Fame like we wanted to, but yeah. uh, and then we stopped at a casino on the way back and uh, won a couple hundred bucks. There Which one did you stop at? Windstar. Nice. Never we been there, there a lot. Uh, fucking big. It's huge. It's. F- I, I think it's the second largest square footage casino floor in the world. What? Next to Foxwoods. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Uh, it, it's just one big... I mean, they divide it up into like sections, but it's just one fucking never-ending casino after casino after casino. Wow. And then in another building, they have a hotel. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I didn't go to gamble. I just have an Asian fetish, yeah, so that's nice. why I went. Got it. But, but uh, still cool. around the pie gown table, <laughs> yeah, or any table. Yeah. <laughs> so I just like Asians and old ladies. And there you go. That's my yeah, jam. They can't that's do crash down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In case that COVID starts coming back at me, I can knock an old bitch out, take her oxygen tank, and yeah, get the fuck out of there. Absolutely. It was a it was a fun trip though. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's where I saw Patton Oswalt at. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, Windstar? Sorry. Windstar? Yeah, okay. That's awesome. Down in Thackerville. Is that where it's at, really? Yeah. It, wow. It's a made-up town that was built around the casino. Makes sense. I like how every casino just gets to pick what street they live on by the, or that they are, they reside on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we're going to be at Lucky 7 Drive, yeah. I think. <laughs> what, I would love to do that. What, what if yeah. it was already called that? Yeah. <laughs> they put it in there. But we got to. We're going to bulldoze all these houses down because we, we can't not put this on I Lucky 7 can't. Drive. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking fate right now. <laughs> Like, what they the pay fuck? They paid people a premium price to tear their house down. Just to they get live that on Lucky 7 Avenue. Lucky 7 Avenue, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would fucking go to Yeah, like... it's, it's basically like Pripyat is to Chernobyl. Oh, yeah? It was built there because of Chernobyl. what's close by. Yeah. yeah. I'm, right, I'm right off of uh, Schlitz Street in Cocaine Court. <laughs> That's right where <laughs> my house is at. <laughs> Right at the corner of Schlitz and cocaine. Yeah. So, oh, right. Wow, you don't even pick a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Picked a good drug, though. My yeah. my uh, my dad's uncle still gives my dad shit about that at their wedding. Apparently, they had kegs of Schlitz. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Because it was like a dollar a keg. <laughs> High-class <laughs> wedding that <laughs> Jeremy would family go to. Uh, is that all you got? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to give, uh, before I move on to my week, 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 oh, God, I can't talk. Remember my recap. Uh. Anyways, uh, at Habitual Line Crosser. Uh, was a guy that we uh, that we did a TikTok video and we didn't know who the original person of that video was. Derek told the story about it last week. It was about getting tased while having sex, and he actually told this story. And I wanted to give him a shout out. So thank you very much. Uh, we followed him, and he followed us right on back. That so really sucks. Cool. They took his fucking story down. That's it was bullshit. Epic. It, was, it was fucking excellent. So kudos he's, to that he's, guy. He's the guy who actually got tased. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. he tased her. He tased her. Oh. And in turn, <laughs> and he in ended turn, up tased. Yeah. Yeah. He tased himself. Because of electricity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, moving on, uh, I had a fun-filled week. I also got a PS5 myself, and, and I got to give I gotta give Derek a lot of credit, because if it wasn't for Derek, I wouldn't have got, got it. Uh, I was at work, and, and it was like 1030 in the morning, and he comes running like a fat guy would, so... Walking really fast. Mm-hmm. Briskly. Yep. Brisk over, pace. <laughs> over to where I, I sit. Because it's by the vending machines. Right. And uh, he just comes up to me, get on Amazon right fucking now. And I'm just like, why? What's up? And he's like, they, they have the PS5 digital version uh, on Amazon right now. And I was like, man, I don't want the digital version. He's like, no. Right after that will come the disc version. Get on right now. Sure as shit. I get on. And seconds later, they are available. I click on it. One click. Done. And that fucking came two days later so been playing a lot of ps5 i'm really pumped about that you must have really had to work hard at that to get all that sweat out of your wrist yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i also i also got to meet a um i guess a youtube sensation that's also from our area jeremy you're gonna love this this guy is from kansas and uh he decided it would be a really kansas f- delaware or kansas 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 okay like Kansas City? Because no. that's in Missouri mostly. Oh, and Delaware. And Kansas, Delaware. City, Kansas Delaware. City, Delaware. Kansas City, Delaware, yeah. KCD. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's uh, whenever whenever I fly to Vegas, we always we have to go through KCD. KCD. <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, Weston Champlin uh, is a YouTube guy. He's got tons of followers. And he thought it would be a really fucking great idea to take a uh, Cummins diesel uh-huh. And shove it into a fucking Ford Mustang. Okay, that um, was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Did he use a towel for an, an air, <laughs> yeah, no, air filter or whatever? He, he did not. He did not use a, a fucking beach towel for an air cleaner. Why not? Uh, because that he probably subscribed to our TikTok. That was too efficient. Probably, uh, <laughs> as opposed to you know the factory devices that they use yes. for. Filtering the air. Absolutely. Um, Our filter game's weird. <clears throat> what, uh, it was so impractical. What size of a Cummins diesel? Big motherfucker. Like I out got, of a semi-truck? No, or it was... Uh, I, want, I can't remember. I can't remember. Like exactly out of a big pickup? It. Yeah. They got like seven liter or... Uh, I can't remember. I really can't remember. I, the whole time I was so annoyed because he had a guy following around with a fucking camera like you do. If you have a YouTube channel, I get it. 
I wanted to have a conversation with him because I was just like, dude, this is, I mean, that uh, it's cool. I mean, it's kind of off the wall, but it's doesn't, it's not fucking practical. It, it leaked oil everywhere. What like if a, it turns out Ford actually made one like that? I, that was just some special one-off <laughs> fucking model that they got. No, he didn't do anything that, to it. That's his YouTube channel. That's him actually doing the work and putting it in there. And he took a wrecked 2017 Ford Mustang, took the engine out of it, did all the body work, did all of that, and then shoved a fucking Cummins diesel engine in it. Turns out it was pristine. He just dropped the engine when he was <laughs> yeah. putting it in and fucking crushed the bumper. Yeah. Um, okay, here's the thing is... Yeah. He did not actually officially put a diesel engine in it unless it's got an air horn. <laughs> it does not have an air horn. I'll then s- he didn't do this. I'll send him, he, a, I'll send him a message. He's not done yet. It was very difficult to talk to him. He was obviously, he was he couldn't hold conversation because he was doing his deal, and I couldn't completely understand. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> you that, should have that. just forced your, yourself on. No, hey, I want to hey, talk hey, to you. Hey, hey, hey. Now, now no, okay, now, how do you know? Good. How did you see this guy? What was the I, situation? We, I work at a I work at a dealership, and so you do. Cool, yeah, yeah. Cool stuff comes in every single day at work, and that was just one of them. And oh, yeah, okay, it okay. Was, it was doing. Uh, next thing, and he he brought his his car in for service and couldn't be troubled to talk to the fucking service guy. <laughs> oh no, no, what I was asshole. I wasn't the <laughs> service guy. He was working with somebody else, and I was just like, okay, this uh, is kind of an interview. Because what you need to talk to him about might be more pressing. Probably. Like, here's what's wrong with your fucking car. You put the <laughs> wrong motor in it, dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the other cool thing, believe it or not, I was actually recognized when I went and played golf. I had hmm. my laughing on the sidelines mask across my face. And they were like, I've seen you on To Catch a Predator before. <laughs> no. I know I have. You were the one that showed up with the baby powder, the condoms, and the box of wine. No. In the- Please tell me. He said, didn't I fuck your sister? <laughs> <laughs> I was checking in for golf. He was a nice guy. He uh, he actually uh, knows of you, too, uh, because he went to the bar that you used to work at every once in a while, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And I recognized the logo, said, love listening to the show, and I was very, I, I was really, that made my day, I, I, you know, for what it's worth. So, but anyways. I just realized that something. Day. that Derek what? and I, although they're different teams on them, have the same sweatshirt on, <laughs> and we didn't plan this. No, come on, at all. You guys rolled over this morning and was just like, "I'm gonna wear a blue hoodie." You wanna wear a blue hoodie? I've got a lot of blue hoodies. <laughs> the fact that I picked this one, okay, was well, the same postseason year. Let's see. No, okay, so <laughs> no, it's mine's one year before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine's from the year we won the World Series, uh-huh. and yours from the year you won the World and, Series. And, but yours just says postseason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought so, them as soon as we made the postseason. I was mm-hmm. excited. All right. But I don't. I don't like the fact that the teams are doing the hoodies now. Why? I like the old the windbreakers. Oh, uh, no, that I'll they take wear in October. I hoodies. It's too much of a hassle. If I ever get on a team, I don't want to have to go through that. I just want to break the snaps. And by the way, I'm still hoping. You lazy motherfucker. Scotty doesn't like the hoodies either because I mean, it, it eventually it gets tiring because he can't see out of the holes, uh-huh. so he has to take the fucking hood off and. And then somebody mm-hmm. ties the fucking sleeves in his mouth and mm-hmm. uses it for a gag. <laughs> uses the knot for a ball gag. All right, we're going that route, Bite man, down, right? motherfucker. Yeah. All right, we're going that route. Cool. That was my week. I had a really good time. Yeah, uh, we saw what you did with your fucking chew video. My what? No. <laughs> the guys in the dugout. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an old one. That's a really old one. Yeah, well, that's when they stopped listening to the show. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, we had the entire major leagues listening to us until you did that video. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, but anyways, this episode. Yeah, t- Trout was our number one listener. Yeah. T- he Thanks. still listens. He still texts me from time to time. Gary Trout? No. Glenn Trout. It was Glenn. Glenn. It was Glenn. Glenn <laughs> Trout. That's who it was. The seventh dwarf. Mm-hmm. Right. Sixth and seventh. Right. Uh, anyways. He, lives, he actually lives in Anaheim, Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. Yeah. It's never going to end. <laughs> Delaware seems fucking huge right now. <laughs> it's the biggest. It's got it's all big, the major cities. It's the biggest state in the, in the United States. It, yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. You, you've got Kansas City, Delaware. You've got New York City, Delaware. You've, you've got... Uh, Los Angeles, Delaware. <laughs> Anaheim, Delaware. San Francisco, <laughs> yeah, Delaware. Yeah, that's what's weird is they put all that shit. Orange County, Delaware. Uh, basically, San Diego, Delaware. It's <laughs> yeah. really fucked up. Chicago, Delaware. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carson City, Delaware. It's mm-hmm. fucking amazing. Las Vegas, Vegas, Delaware. There it was. I was waiting for that one. LVD. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. That sounds like a Mexican venereal disease. <laughs> LVD. <laughs> okay. For the love of God, we're moving on. So. <laughs> I want to talk. Um, <laughs> shit. Listen, uh, I, I know it's time to talk about our sponsor. That's correct. However, 
I feel like, you know, I'm the oldest one on this podcast and I'm like way older than most of our listeners. True. So I feel like I need to give out some fatherly advice to, to people. Okay. Here's the deal. <laughs> if you ever meet somebody, guy or girl, who is willing to go down and give your ball some attention, they're doing you a favor. They don't want to be down there. They're doing a neighborly thing. Women love balls. That's not true, Derek. Um, <laughs> turns out if a woman is that into balls, what that means is she just doesn't want to be talking to you. <laughs> um, we, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the truth. Hmm. And so basically, if they're going to go down there, they're doing a nice thing for you. And so, really, it's a poor way to thank them by having them open up your trousers and having, like, a fucking ostrich nest in there, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants that. That's what, back in my day, that's what they would call a fine how-do-you-do. <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> Nobody wants that. Right. Take care of your fucking balls, fellas. Correct. That's Listen, where I'm me. going with this. Listen to the old timer. Yep. Yeah. And now we're uh, we're we're right around the corner from spring break. We got spring break coming. Well, hang up. on. How do you take oh. care of your balls? How do you take care of your balls? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm getting I there. Mean, back in my day, what it, it you'd go to take care of your balls, and it looked like you got a fucking hand job from Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but but yes, yeah, so you do. You use the lawnmower 3.0. That's the smartest fucking thing. Kids are spoiled today. Yeah, that's true. They that's got true. all the gadgets. That's true. That's true. But especially when we're coming right around the corner from spring break. Uh huh. You got a lot of people that are going to probably be doing a lot of fornicating. I'm just is that, saying. Is that what happened yeah. on spring break? Hey, I've bought a lot of fat chicks in my life, but I ain't never fornicated anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, but especially these are going to be, you're going to be fornicating probably some strangers. Maybe so. I'm just telling you. So this is going to be your first impression. By the by, the way, way to go on that. Uh, I don't do impressions, Scotty. Yeah. So you're going to want to have a good first impression, and that's my suggestion. You need to invest in the lawnmower 3.0 and make sure that you get shit cleaned up. From tush exactly. to bush. Exactly. Just throwing it out there. Lawnmower 3.0 is an excellent product to help you do that. Uh, it has a ceramic blade, so uh, it can't rust, right? Can't rust. You can use nope. it in the shower. Take it in the fucking ocean. That's right. And don't do that. No, don't do that. Um, I wouldn't do that. And by the way, uh, I don't believe Manscaped has ever claimed that it will prevent pregnancy. No. So don't, you know, it will help you get laid, will not keep the baby from happening. Right. Where so, are your kidnappers? Uh, that's right. Where are your kidnappers? <laughs> Yeah, in yeah. fact, do, do all this ahead of time before you go to the beach. Yeah, do it, it in the shower. You can take it in there. The other thing <clears> we've <throat> never even talked about on this show: if you trim your your bush up, it makes it look so much bigger. It does. It does. For a guy, eventually, or a I'm going to be able to see mine, and I'm going <laughs> to test this theory. No, motherfucker, that you can trim all you want. It ain't going to help you that much, dude. It, and it, that works for a guy or a girl. Trek. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. There is nothing I like more than a nice set of beefy lips on a. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> like a I goddamn like, clown face. I like a girl to be well hung. <laughs> oh, <God>. Just <laughs> looks like a fucking roast beef sandwich my, from Arby's. My wife for years was like, you know, I don't. Am my labia big enough for you? <laughs> and I'm like, well, maybe if you trim up, it'd make it a little bigger. And she, <laughs> she did, and wow, hello. Wow, this ad read went. Way in a different mm -hmm. direction. Uh, but anyways, guys, do us a favor. Go to manscaped.com. Check out all of the products that they have. Obviously, check out the Lawnmower 3.0 and uh, my favorite, the Weed Whacker, for your nose hair and your ear hair, apparently, if you're an old fuck like Jeremy. Mm. And whenever you check out all of the other products that they have, do us a favor and use the promo code SIDELINES. That'll get you 20% off your order and free shipping. Plus, that helps us out a lot. That tells them that we are actually reading these ad reads correctly and exactly how they want us to. So they will leave us alone and let us keep doing it the way we're doing it because I think it's mm -hmm. more fucking fun. It is. Because <laughs> we don't add any of the stuff that they want us to. We, I, I've forgotten half the shit about it. But Here. what I can tell you is... It, Here's the ad read. <laughs> that doesn't have I any think, that shit on there. Listen, I know there are sponsors. Yeah. And I can tell you this firsthand. They make a phenomenal <clears throat> product. Yeah, they do. And that's with everything that they make. But that paper's full of lies. <laughs> okay. We're telling you the straight up fucking truth. We're telling you from experience. Again, uh -huh. go to manscaped.com, laughing on the side. Or sorry, manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Again, 20% off your order and free shipping. Thank yep. you guys so much for doing that. Okay. We got some sports to talk about, boys. 
Really? Boys, we got some sports. We even got some NFL. I don't, or, I don't really watch the sports ball. Okay. All right, then me and What's... me and Derek will just do, do the rest. What do you know talking? what? I got it's I got a thing. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Jeez. Oh, thanks, I, man. Yeah. I, we gotta go buy ma- more matching sweatshirts. Mm-hmm. For fuck's sake, this is something that you guys are even gonna get actually kind of excited about. What? Because all three of us, if there's anything that we all have in common, it is that we hate KU basketball. KU. Uh, I was just gonna say Kansas in general. Huh. Like K- well, we Kansas, live here, dude. Kansas University. Can we go that far? We want up in Delaware? No. Oh. The one in fucking Lawrence. Yeah, that's Kansas University Community College up in <laughs> Delaware. K U C C. No. They don't have a team. Yeah, so UKCC. Yeah. <laughs> Just missing the F. Right. Uh, so actually, there is some news that broke uh, on Monday this week. Uh, the University of Kansas head football coach Les Miles and KU have agreed to part ways after some allegations of sexual harassment by Mr. Miles while coaching at LSU. Who did he make the allegations against? Apparently, there were two uh, females that came forward and claimed that uh. there was something very, very similar of what he was done. Now, granted, what it was, I have absolutely no idea. In fact, they're being very close-lipped on this whole ordeal. Ass-fingered. Um, right. <clears throat> uh, Bet that's what it was. Probably. Good old ass-fingered. No, they were ass-fingering him. Here's, That's what it was. Here's, uh, forcibly. Here's, here's the thing. <laughs> um, okay. This is, it was actually a secondary investigation into some old charges, from what I understand. Seven years ago. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> the first investigation revealed nothing. Uh, it was a well known fact when KU hired him. And this follow up investigation also revealed nothing. Yep. I hate to get political, but what kind of fucking world are we living in where somebody can fucking just hurl an accusation at you and you lose your goddamn job? I agree. I mean, that's, again, I have no problem seeing KU thrown into fucking turmoil. Correct. And seeing their, you know, what was supposed to be the savior of their program yeah. be booted out. But this really seems like something very unfair. I, I agree. As much as I dislike Kansas University... I don't necessarily think this is the right move for them. Uh, hey, Siri, set a reminder to tell HR tomorrow that Scotty won't quit staring at my meat. <laughs> <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh, it, okay. Uh, but no, I, I agree with you. This is kind of one of those... Just in case that works. Okay. Because if it can happen to Les Miles at KU, right. it could happen to anybody anywhere. It can that... happen to Scotty tomorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> at what time? Uh, I didn't set a time. I mean, okay, but usually odds... she's pretty prompt around eight. Jack, typically the odds of it happening are astronomical. Let's find out <clears throat> next week what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. Yeah. For so... does Scotty lose his job? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for that, by the way. He gets demoted to restroom cleaner. But uh, that's yeah. a promotion in his world. Well, yeah. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, he, he gets smell promoted all, to... Um, gets to smell all that piss and... To Weston Champlin's uh, camera guy. Yeah, cool. <laughs> fuck He's got to edit his fucking YouTube channel <laughs> for free. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Anyways, moving on. Oh, all right. Uh, we're going to go to the Major League Baseballs, the bowlings. Uh, yeah. You got anything from your guys' teams? No. No? Well, it's been it's released. Spring training. Yeah, spring training. But they're starting to talk about this upcoming season, and it looks like a majority of the teams, not including Washington, D.C., uh, basically, they're going to have at least 20% capacity in stadiums on opening day. God damn, that's full capacity for the race. I was getting ready to say, the, Shit, Mi- the, the Miami Marlins are kind of pushing it. I don't know if they're going to get that many people in there. Oh, are you kidding I, I've me? Heard, I've heard some people talking as early as June 1st, no more restrictions. No more restrictions? Yeah. Fuck. I, I'm just waiting and dreaming on that. There was something else that happened, and I can't remember what it was because it was while we were doing the live, and I can't remember. But I wanted to say it had something to do with Cincinnati. But, ah, fuck it. Who cares? You talking Sin City? Sin City, baby. Yeah. That's what I call it. Up in the big D. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sin, Sin City, Delaware. <laughs> you should check it out. <sighs> Somebody's gonna make fucking travel plans tomorrow. <laughs> I swear to God, Siri, buy Dude, me we, two tickets. We gotta go to, to Delaware. Cincinnati, Delaware. <laughs> I've got two tickets to Delaware. 
Yeah, yeah me and the wife spent $300,000 on a Winnebago. <laughs> We're just going to go up and cruise Delaware. We're going to tour that state, see all it has to offer. So it's not a Winnebago, it's a Winnebago. Anyway, uh, moving on to NCAA basketball. We are in, or at least close to the middle of March. We got March Madness coming. Mm-hmm. KU yeah. basketball team has actually hired Les Miles. <laughs> <laughs> and what is one of the weirdest twists of fate <laughs> of all time? Because they said, quote, at least he doesn't have recruiting violations. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is going to be the very first time in a very long time that most likely, barring a uh, conference championship, that we will not have Duke or Kentucky in this year's March Madness. Do you really think that's going to happen? Because, I mean, we won't yeah. know till Selection Sunday. Yeah, it's going to happen. And Duke and Duke and Kentucky ain't going, bro. It's uh, not going to happen. I just I can't see the the uh, they, Selection Committee leaving them out. It they just, need to go not only go deep into the ACC tournament, which if you've ever watched the ACC Conference Championship or Conference Tournament, that is like the fucking maze of hell because there's 32 well, it, fucking teams in that conference. It used to be. I mean... Yeah, it, it's got so many goddamn teams. Right we're, we're watching it right now. That There's fucking tons of them. 15. When did we get this television? Not, yeah, but some of them don't even fucking get in there. They don't even get to make it. Huh. Yeah. So the ACC tournament's the longest tournament as well. If I remember correctly, it goes all the way through the week. It starts on Tuesday, and then it goes all the way until fucking Friday. Like, it's for fucking ever. You think that's long? You should see the NCAA that's, tournament. Woo! Jesus. That is uh, four days, Scotty. Um, it starts in March and ends in April. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's the best part. Uh, but, yeah, so the other thing is uh, there's been a couple of teams that have already punched their ticket, UNC Greensboro, uh, which is the uh, SOCON conference, and then you have Appalachian State from the Sun Belt, and they're already going. Okay. okay. All right. Selection Sunday is this weekend, so this just so happens to be my favorite time of the year. Completely. I like this, I think, a little bit more than March Madness sometimes. Is it because it's getting nicer <laughs> weather out and the kids are wearing shorter shorts? Fuck and you, Derek. What? No, and now they're all trimmed up with their manscape, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Listen to the show. Got all that peach fuzz you... trimmed off of there, and you're good to go, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. UNC Greensboro. What's their mascot? Uh, I want to say it's like a green eagle or some shit like that. I can't remember. It's though. actually what a if... little nitro gummy bear. Yeah, that's what really? it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Number six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if they are? We're, we're UNC Greensboro Green Eagles. <laughs> Oh, shit. No, I was way off. I think they're a Spartan. Yeah, they're a Spartan. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Yeah. Eagle, sure. Eagle, Spartan. You know. Right. They have eagles in Sparta. Yeah, totally. At least um, they used to. <clears throat> so uh, the other good thing is I guess we got to give him a little bit of credit. Well, I'm going to give myself credit first. Uh, Wichita State currently right now is uh, picked to either be an 11 or a 12 seed. Mm -hmm. I don't think they make it. I, I think that they get beat in the tournament, and I am a I'm a homer. That's my team. I don't think that they are going to make it into the NCAA tournament. They're going to have like Memphis beat them or some shit like that. So did gonna, they wind up winning the regular season? They are the number one seed currently in the American uh, Conference tournament. Yep. So that's so you don't think that they're going to get two teams in? Uh, I think they will get two teams in. I just don't think it's going to be Wichita State. I have a feeling that somebody like Memphis is going to knock them off on the way. Hmm. That's that's what I think. Okay. If they make it to the championship game, then they're gone. Then they're a guarantee to get into the NCAA tournament. I just have a feeling it's just not going to happen. I could be wrong, though. I hope, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but on the other side of things, uh, Derek's team... First of all, you can't. He doesn't know how to open a fucking beer. Second thing, Derek's team is actually a number one seed right now. Oh, no, we don't. It's just because it's a Modelo and they have different bottle caps. So you can't have that one. Hmm. Just throwing that out there. Yes, my team is a number one seed. They're projected number. one. Projected ones. number one. I think they will be. They're, <laughs> they're number three in the country. They just had they just had two top ten wins mm -hmm. this week. I'm, I'm going to tell you, if they can come out of this, if you can. Did, did they win the regular season in Big Ten? No. They did not. Michigan no. did Michigan by half did. game. Yep. Really? After mm -hmm. yeah. they drub, drub the shit out of them? Yeah, beat the but fuck out of them. still. That was it, their okay. first if, loss? Michigan's first loss? Second loss. Second loss. If you can beat, if you can win the Big Ten tournament, in my opinion, that ought to put you as the number one seed overall. Sure. That is a fucking 
monster monster of a conference this year. Three, four, and five right now yeah. are, are are Big Ten teams. And there's like six in the top twenty five. Oh yeah, you, uh, in the top ten, I think, if I remember right. I like Illinois out of that out of that conference, but I'm telling you, you need to watch out for Iowa. That's what, that's I, Iowa's that's my, really that, fucking good. What's, that, what's that, that is my kid's dark name? horse, uh, Luca Garza. Garza. Yeah, yeah I've Garza. been watching him for two years. He's fucking phenomenal. That is, is my team. Is he a seven footer? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think so. I, I six, know he's six, big. 12, and he can six, shoot. Yeah, he's six, 12. Six, six, 12. <laughs> he can fucking shoot, too. He's just yes. under seven feet. Yeah, he can. And and he, he can handle the ball. So he can handle my balls anytime. I'm sure mm-hmm. he can. Hello. Especially when they're nice and smooth um, with that lawnmower. Mm-hmm. Okay. 3.0. But as, mm-hmm. uh, as we get closer to March you Madness. You say the whole thing or they won't pay us. You're going <laughs> to end up uh, having to listen to us make our predict- predictions, which I think that'll come uh, here in the near future, I hope. And, of course, my prediction always is wrong. Pain. Yeah. Pain. So look forward to that in, in future episodes. Next, we're going to move on to some news that broke uh, earlier this week and a little bit later last week the in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Niffle. We got some fucking drama. As as we always do in the off season, we, like, we yeah. like to save it for our mama, though. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, but the drama that we have is uh, we've got <laughs> Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. Um, kinda... I don't know why that <laughs> got me funny. <laughs> Which one, the mama? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, does the relationship <laughs> between Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll get better, or does Wilson end up leaving Seattle? He gone. You think so? Mm-hmm. Really? Gonna be a bear. You're high. You, I think so. You were I, fucking high. I'm not gonna like the trade, but he's gonna be a bear. No, they're gonna give they're up gonna fucking give up everything. Two first and second round picks, probably, to and get probably him. Khalil Mack. I really? Bet, oh, I I no. bet they fucking just what? What do you want? All right, it's yours. They because <clears throat> Nagy and Pace's job is on the fucking line, and the asshole is zero for three on quarterbacks. It's it. They're gonna give him whatever the fuck they want to give him. Do you think he could even turn around the co- the the Chicago Bears offense? Not after what they're going to give up for him. And they, but they did franchise A Rob today, which was bad for Allen Robinson. I feel bad for the guy. Um, well, if you got if you got Russell Wilson throwing to him, <laughs> yeah. But they just they're fucking him around so bad. Uh, no, I just ugh. I cannot see him win a Bears jersey. I can't see it. Is he going to restructure his contract in any way? No. Do you think? No, no. They're going to pay him all that money, huh? Mm-hmm. That's why I think Max out. Well, yeah. I mean they. He's taking up a lot of fucking cap space. Mm-hmm. Sure is. But he's worth it. Mm-hmm. That's that's how they won games last season was because of the defense, and a lot of it has to do with wrestling and passion. passion. Well, and because of Cairo Santos. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. And great punter play and yeah, just mm-hmm. all kinds of shit. All yeah. kinds of shit. I mean, it's really the fundamentals is what yeah. it comes down to. Right? It all comes down to coaching. We were watching them. <laughs> uh, they had a high school basketball game they were watching at work last night pulled up on a computer. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but some a couple of guys I work with were, and I was like, you know what the problem with this team is? It was just getting shellacked, and I'm like, too many white guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but if you really want to see someone play together as a team, mm-hmm. I mean, they, I mean, they got fundamentals down. Sure, there's nobody that can just pa- bounce pass like that number thirty three. <laughs> I mean, you want to see a solid chess pass <laughs> yeah. and a layup with proper form. Uh-huh. If this game comes down to free throws, all I got to say is look out. <laughs> That's fucking funny, actually. Um, anyways, next thing, we've got uh, Ben Roethlisberger. He's officially coming back for the 2021 season. Okay. We knew that. No, we didn't. I did. I said No. And you were wrong. Oh, yeah. You my. don't work for the Steelers, let alone would they make you someone who makes those decisions. Mm-hmm. You would work in their auto service department. <laughs> yeah, I probably would. I disagree with this move. He's going to get hurt. Probably, but that's on him. I guess. I don't want to see him get hurt either. I don't either. But I don't think he wants to go out the way that they did, getting their ass handed to him by Cleveland. I, I think that's a big driving force in this. Uh, and he just watched an old dude win the Super Bowl. That's true. That is true. Gives him gives him hope. He ain't that old dude, though. He's nope. old, old for a quarterback. Yeah, but he ain't Brady. True. But the, probably the most... He never was. Probably the biggest news of the entire week has to be Dak Prescott finally signs a four-year, $160 million contract with the Dallas Cowboys. Right move. Okay. Okay. Look at what they did without him. That's the right move. I know he fucked his ankle up, but... That's still I mean, he's gonna Vic, get he's gonna win comeback player of the year next year. 
Well, fuck, as a, as a charity. That's what Alex Smith did. He fucking played in, what, two games? Like, you can have it. <laughs> the same thing with Bridgewater. I don't know about you, but he took a team that hasn't been in the playoffs for years to the playoffs and almost a beat the... losing record. And almost beat the Super Bowl champs. And he didn't take the team the entire year. He took them, like, four yeah. games. He, it was, it was on he sat Smith. out a lot more than he... Played, I know that. You want to talk about a charity comeback player of the year? That's it. He deserves. Prescott's it, got fucking heart, man. Watching him, you may hate Dallas all you want, but the way he left that field, I got nothing but respect for that guy. And I'm not a Dallas hater, and I'm not a Dallas fan, but I got nothing but respect for that guy. And I hope he fucking comes in and crushes it. I mean, if he does, good for him. Good for him for the contract. <clears throat> um, but fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of how I feel, Jeremy. Uh-huh. Okay. That is the sports uh, news for this week. Kyle Long's coming out of retirement. Who? Uh, Who? Pro Bowl uh, offensive tackle from the Bears. Howie's boy? Yep, he's coming out of retirement. Cool. Uh, not for the Bears, I don't think, though, because uh, he pretty much rips on the coaching staff <laughs> Okay. What? and the GM nonstop. So I don't think he, I think he's a free agent, but he's How coming out. How long had he been retired? Just one year. Okay. Oh, all right. So. All right. You can do it again. Whatever. But there's he's, Howie's got a couple of boys in the league, mm-hmm. isn't there? Jake? Jake. Is he still around? I don't know if he is or not. And there was Chris, wasn't there? When Chris Long, one of his Was kids. that his, too? I okay. think so. I think there was Sam, too. No. That's not a real person, Scotty. <laughs> okay, whatever. fucking talking stupid talk with your stinky wrists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you stank wrist, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. We're going to get to... Take uh, stank wrist back to the fucking hood, you goddamn hood rat. Okay. You All fucking right. stank-ass wrist. <laughs> All right, moving on. We get to do, we get to get to Jeremy's favorite part of everything. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Man, that motherfucker's wrist smell like the inside of my asshole. <laughs> just, just his fucking wrist, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I'm laughing so is stupid. <laughs> and I love it. I love every second of it. The only reason why I'm laughing is because Jeremy never laughs, but whatever it does, it just is contagious as fuck. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Take a day. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Can we move on to questions for please. the love of God? Yeah. Please. Anyways, this is uh, yeah, Jeremy. <laughs> This is Jeremy's favorite segment of every single episode. <laughs> Questions and preguntas. Mm. Guys, if you have a question that you would like answered on this show, do us a favor. Go to our TikTok account, and right below our link in our bio, you <clears throat> can make a fucking question. Thanks, Derek. Mm-hmm. And uh, if it's one that we haven't answered before, or if it's a different premise or something along the lines that we like... <laughs> We will put it on the show and give you a shout out. So every single week, I look through all of the questions. If they're fucking stop it, <laughs> if there if there's a question that we like, we will use it and give you a shout out. So thank you for those of you that did that this week. I've got quite a few questions because there's not a whole lot of sports. So first question, we're going to start off with Bryce Ports, and he wants to know uh, some rejected sponsors for the shittiest. College football bowl games. I I, I got one. Go, okay, go for it. I've got uh, Zupu colon cleanse bowl. Is that a real thing, Zupu? Yeah. What is that? That actually is a colon. Is that like a dog laxative? Or? That is a, that is an actual laxative. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's a hmm. real company. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? The Preparation H Stinky Finger Bowl. <laughs> stinky Wrist Bowl. Stinky Wrist Bowl. Nobody applies Preparation H with their wrists. Come on, guys. Now we're just being ridiculous. <laughs> okay. uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, the Excedrin CTE Bowl. Not, oh, fuck. God damn it. Wow. <laughs> wow. You, you got a pounding headache. Won't go away. <laughs> Try Excedrin. Take two of these, and here's a pistol. <laughs> Shit. That's so fucking bad. <laughs> Wow. Well, all right. That's all Antonio Browns needs, huh? Just mm-hmm. some Excedrin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it? And a pistol. And a pistol. And okay. A pistol. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Next one. Uh, let's see. At Michael Reese 70, an inappropriate board game for children. Handyland. Fucking <laughs> 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 Handyland? 
Yeah, you, you spin the spinner, and whatever color it's on, you have to give me a hand job. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. It sounds like a good idea at first, but after going through it several times, and everybody has to jerk me off over and over and over again, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> that sure it is. You're the only guy that likes a fucking handy anyway. Oh. It's like masturbating, only I don't get tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. You know, I don't get to answer that question. Oh, sorry. My bad. I don't. I didn't even get to answer that question either. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, go for it. You go. My bad. Okay, so uh, let's see. An inappropriate board game for children. I'm going to go with Guess Who, especially nowadays. Hmm. Have you played Guess Who? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man mm-hmm. or woman? I don't know. <laughs> Can't answer that. See? Yeah. Told you. That's why you don't. Listen, I don't know how it identifies. Exactly. I mean, can you imagine asking that question? What would they say back? What, what is it now? Like, uh, non-binary. That's what it mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Can't, can't let them play that game. Cancel non-binary that shit, too. Non-binary pansexual. Yeah. With a mustache and boobs. <laughs> That's right. That's Frida. Frida Kahlo. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, hi-ho, cherry hole. <laughs> <laughs> Winner loses their hymen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. Or loser. Mm-hmm. Whichever way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or, or you could go with the uh, old knockoff of Operation and call it botched. <laughs> where you Where you just have a doll that you give plastic surgery to. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch that show Crank Yankers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that character, Niall Standish, uh-huh. called the calligraphy writer to make wedding invitations. And uh, one of the things on there is that during the reception, there will be the bride will submit to a fourteen point hymen check. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Next one. Uh, Debo underscore three thousand and two. Hmm. Would you rather get a paternity test on Maury uh, or star in my six hundred pound life? Paternity test. At least I'm getting puss. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. six hundred pounds. I'm getting no puss. <laughs> I might be able to fuck one of my own folds, and that's about as far as I'm going to (laughs) get. That's fucking gross. (laughs) All your folds smell like Scotty's wrist. (laughs) But they're clean shaven with the lawnmower (laughs) 3.0. Absolutely. That's fucking sick. Shave your folds. I I actually lost... I lost a, I lost two lawnmower 3.0s in my folds. You got to you got to get them on a rope. (laughs) (laughs) Tie them around your neck. That's where those went. Yeah, I'm going with the paternity test, too, just because they put you up, like, at a five-star hotel and shit, and I've had a vasectomy, so I know what the result's <laughs> going to be. Good for you. I, I think I think all three of us, that's a clean sweep, man. I uh, I couldn't I couldn't let, I, I, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, paternity test it is. All right, next question. Uh, Dakota Wetzel, mm-hmm. what's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? Scotty's wrists. <laughs> Naturally, all day long. I don't know if that's the weirdest. It's the worst. It's just the it's just the <laughs> worst. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how about you, Jeremy? Um. Okay. There this is kind of a, a my actual answer. Um. There is a a bug around here. They're not terribly common. They live underground, called a Jerusalem cricket. Okay. Or a Jerusalem beetle. Sometimes they're called. They are the nastiest looking fucking things they've got like weird spikes on they kind of look like a little scorpion type thing but they're fucking oh like, yeah they're fucking mean looking they're apparently totally harmless but like their main defense is that they spray out of fucking stinky they're like little skunks basically oh really uh, yeah and it's it is just it smells so unnatural it it almost smells like a chemical fucking like a plant like some place where they make plastics and uh-huh. shit, mixed with a hard boiled egg fart. And it's just. Bullshit. Fucking Those weird. things will bite you. Right, but they're not venomous or anything. No, but they they're, hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, but they're, they're, their main defense is this shit that they spray out. They oh, stink. Oh, God. Yeah. I've, they're I've, fucking mean looking. I've been though. bitten by one of those motherfuckers and it hurt. The weirdest smell I've actually ever bite smelled. Bite it back. You <laughs> know. The weirdest one I've smelled is my own eyes burning. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah that's get a LASIK? LASIK? When oh. I got LASIK, it smelled uh, like burnt hair and Doritos. Uh-huh. God, that's you can't disgusting. feel it. Like you just see this little light just flickering, and then you're like, 
Oh, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something's going down. Did somebody put a cat in the microwave? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's one of those funny situations where doctors don't use the word pain. They use discomfort. Oh. You're going to feel some discomfort. That's all as I we put us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they, like, hooked a fucking air compressor on a suction cup up to my eye. And really? oh, that hurt like hell. Oh, yeah. They didn't I, do I any of that. I don't deal with eye pain. That, that first, that big fucking thing they put up inside your eye to... They, the they, initial thing? No, they gave me a Valium, some numbing drops, so I didn't feel anything with the numbing drops, and I looked at an yeah. eye at a light, and you heard clack, 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 and then you smelled it, and then it looked like they were squeegeeing my eye, and then, when and they, then that was it. Then when they fucked me in the ass? <laughs> oh, there you oh, go. Oh, man, that, that's that which, was really painful. Uh, well, yeah, but it makes you forget about your eyes. It's it kind of sure like, does. God damn, my wrist hurts, let me see your finger, and then, you know. Right. No, I, I don't deal with eye pain very well at all like if i get any little anything in my eye i can't put it out of my mind i have to fuck with it my eye waters and i'll cry know the feeling um like a bitch (laughs) right uh actually i i also have a a manly bitch i also have a very (laughs) real answer for this i don't know if you guys have smelled uh the bradford pear tree oh Mm -hmm. yeah that's Mm -hmm. what blew over in my fucking front yard they smell weird when they are starting to bloom they yeah. smell mm-hmm. awful. Pear trees just in general do. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but that is, that's my answer. They smell like fucking, uh, don't they smell like fucking dead fish? I never got that. Or maybe that's just what my house smells like all the time. I okay. That's, pro- that's probably what, it, well, whenever you have like a fucking ocean in your basement, that's actually what it kind of starts getting Well, yeah. Me. And I, I'll keep just some channel cat around. Okay. It makes sense. Just throw them over in the corner somewhere. Right. Uh, okay. Maybe next. Some bass. <laughs> next question. At Jesse Hawk 79. If Scotty was not hosting the show, what would he be doing right now? Hosting a clan rally? What the fuck? Well, we know you don't like minorities, Scotty. Mm-hmm. That's, That's bullshit. My mm-hmm. best friends are minorities. What? Yeah, he wouldn't be. Irish white? No. <laughs> I mean, they're, come on, Scotty. Definitely not you fuckers. No. Like, no. No, we don't even claim you. No. Oh, um, my buddy Michi. Michi's a black guy. That's my sure he is. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Is, is he albino? No, because that's that's white dude. No, um, he just told you he's black albino. <clears throat> um, I picked uh, I what I actually would probably be doing. I'd be playing PS Five, motherfuckers. That's what I'd be doing. I said you'd be on the street competing with your sister for business. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Jeremy. Fair enough. You're Damn probably right. It is probably right. And uh, losing, <laughs> definitely going broke. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. The Injured EMT uh, wants to know alternative names for first responders, firefighters, police, and EMS. This is kind of a weird thing because, you know, it's just what I would call bunghole jockeys. (laughs) Now, (laughs) it doesn't make any sense. Okay. I just like naming a group of people that. Okay. Uh, And... They seem like they got good spirits about them. They could take a joke as well as anybody. I can, yeah. Definitely. Somebody call the bunghole jockeys. <laughs> we got a fire. I uh, I actually have a real answer for this one because at one point I, I I am EMT certified and I got to do my little volunteer work and uh, yeah that was all tons of fun. Um, but I'm gonna go with mentally unstable heroes. That's what I'm gonna go with, and I okay. mean that sincerely because you got to be mentally unstable to put up with the shit that they have to put up on a regular basis. My, People shit and puking in your fucking ambulance. Fuck that shit. My mom was a high-ranking state-certified EMT instructor and started the EMT program in my hometown of Cunningham. And mm-hmm. some of the shit that she saw is, I mean, it's it's a wonder that she didn't go insane. Yep, I agree. How about She's you? She's a fucking adrenaline junkie. <laughs> All I can come up with is siren jockeys. Okay. That's what I have. Those are the assholes. Ooh, that actually, the jockeys too, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? Uh, those are the assholes that actually chase after the ambulances. We call them, that's what we call them as ambulance chasers. Mm-hmm. No, that's the attorneys. Oh, got it. Yeah, those yep. are, or the insurance companies. Uh, all right. Next question. Do do do. Austin Marcos <clears throat> rejected slogans for your favorite fast food restaurant. Qdoba. Piss off your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! That's close to mine. Taco Bell, fake Mexican colon cleanse. Okay. That's mine. Okay. Well, that's what it is. Sure. Explosive diarrhea after you eat Taco Bell every fucking time. Then stop eating Taco Bell. I don't eat Taco Bell. I stopped eating Taco Bell because of that very reason. Run for the border. I know you'd run for the border if you didn't, you know, hate brown people. <laughs> Derek, 
In and Out Burger, because fuck the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> they got them in Dallas. Yeah. Well, I saw one in Dallas. <laughs> there's only oh, there's one. There's several down there. Uh, I didn't see one. Okay. Did you get Water Burger while you're down there? Uh, for breakfast, I did. That's all. They got man. breakfast? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. My buddy got a burger at eight thirty in the morning. I went with a honey chicken biscuit. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds good. <laughs> it Carbs was. sound good, right? I came. I was like, Ugh! isn't that the noise Scotty makes? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We we recorded him having sex. And then, <laughs> oh God, Eric. <laughs> oh, I made a mess. <laughs> Next question. One time we're gonna get him with a person. <laughs> right. Hmm? Next question. All right. The catchphrase Jesus would use uh, before performing a miracle. Let's get holy five. <laughs> That's so fucking wrong. Uh, I went um, with, uh, yeah, from from Miracle on Ice. Do you believe in miracles? Okay. <laughs> what if everybody said no? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you something. <laughs> okay, I love that old South Park. All right, okay, turn around. All right, turn around. All right, now you can turn back around. Ta-da! <laughs> uh how about you, dude? Yeah, I, uh, oh, so okay, go ahead. I went with uh, nothing up my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, from Lilo and Stitch, Ohana means family, and family means blank. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Uh-huh. That's, that's exactly what it is. Uh, that seems to be what gets the pops on TikTok. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to go with family means eventually divorce, step parents, and two Christmases. Valid. How about you, Derek? What's the question again? Uh, the question is from Lilo and Stitch Ohana means family, family means blank. Uh, getting drunk at Thanksgiving and fighting over politics. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking right. Good call. All right. Next question. Uh, bad idea. Reusable blanks. Potatoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know how sometimes you'll shove potatoes up your ass? <laughs> no! And if you leave the peel on them, uh, they don't always get messed up too bad in there. And so, you know, if you wash them off, like you're supposed to with potatoes anyway, because they get dirty... Uh, then you can reuse them. <laughs> oh, no. Stick them up your ass again. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I can't be the only one on this. Yeah, you're the only one. Come on, guy. I, God, I, what the fuck do you use potatoes for? You eat potatoes. I'm on a low-carb diet, you prick. <laughs> okay, fine. I got to shove them up my ass. <laughs> okay. What else am I going to do with them? Throw them away? Yeah, throw them. Waste of perfectly good potatoes. No, just throw them at people. Throw them at Derek. Throw them at me. I don't care. Just don't shove them up your ass. That okay? was a great Jerky Boys call. What? Oh, my God. We rented that tennis ball machine. We filled it up with boiled potatoes, and I shot one of them right up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> then he turned around, and I hit him right in the fucking eye, and it's awful. Do you guys sell tennis ball machines? Because we have to replace this thing. It is full of potatoes. <laughs> Great. I went, um, bad idea. Reusable toilet paper. I don't think that's something you should be re- recycled. Nope. In fact, you should get a bidet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. How about you, Derek? Mm. <clears throat> Tampons. Damn hmm. right. Yeah, I don't think you should reuse. Don't just rinse them off and no. shove them back in there. No. I don't think that's a good idea. No, that's absolutely disgusting. Please, don't I have enough ever trouble do that. getting an ear plug in right. I mean, I can't yeah. imagine trying to shove one of those in. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Every time I try, I fucking yeah. hit the potato. <laughs> God. Oh shit! Next question. Hmm? A great way to cheer up your buddy after a bad breakup. Ice cream cake. <laughs> yeah? I um, mean, honestly. Yeah. I don't care what's going on in my life. You show up with a fucking ice cream cake, you're coming in. <laughs> I'll, I'll do you one better. Huh. Take them to a midget strip club. Because <sighs> if you do that, one of two things are going to happen. He's either going to be somewhat turned on or laugh his fucking ass off. Why has it got to be one or the other? I think it's going to be both, maybe. Fuck, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Dude, I 
paid 20 bucks to get into, uh, God, what was the, the one on uh, 47th and Oliver? What? Jezebel's. Is it Jezebel's? Mm-hmm. It's not there anymore. Mm-hmm. No. To see Bridget the Midget. Really? Yep. Nice. Back in Ot 6. Not really, <laughs> but it was a naked midget jumping around on stage. <laughs> That's great. Love it. Oh, shit. I was going to actually pay another 20 to get my picture taken with her. They wouldn't let her me put her on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, then never mind. Oh, shit. Derek? Hmm? The question. Oh, a great way to cheer up your buddy after a breakup? Yeah. Just tell him, be like, man, you, you could just first, you got to console him. Yeah. Yeah. And be like, man, don't worry. You're better than her. She's a slut. We all fucked her. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And she wasn't that good at it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not going to believe you. So then you show him the video as proof. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And then be like, oh, by the way, that was your mom holding the camera. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's mean, man. No, then you get him drunk. Oh, okay. Then that's fine. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's that's okay. That's that makes totally everything better. That's makes, not going to make him at all aggressive. That's, hmm. that's totally acceptable. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. The worst curse. Every full moon, you turn into blank. A janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There are some nice janitors out I'm there. I'm sure there are, but what a shitty thing to fucking turn into. <laughs> when, when you fucking... All of a sudden, full moon comes around, and next thing you know, you're just overwhelmed with this need to go fucking mop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, fair enough. It can't even be something where you're a badass. Yeah. You got to fucking mop. Yeah. That's, that would suck. Uh, I said, uh, my sister. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, God, she's already, she's got one peg leg, one, like, advanced really nice pro- prosthetic. Yeah, really prosthetic. She's got a robot leg. And, and she's got diabetes like crazy. I mean, that'd be a bad thing. Everybody tries to fuck her. It's bad. Or she tries to fuck everybody, actually. It's not that one. Uh, anyway, how about you, uh, Derek? A share wolf. A sh- what? It's a werewolf that just goes around and sings share songs. <laughs> oh, God. That would be awful. No. <laughs> can, you, can you sing some? I'm not going to do that because it's not a full moon out right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you may not I be can. telling the truth. I can. Go for it, Jeremy. <laughs> if I can turn back time, <laughs> if I can find a way. Okay, man. <laughs> I I crack my wife up. I, I sing share songs in the shower. <laughs> Just fucking belt them. <laughs> Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. <laughs> oh God. She loves it. No, I'm sure she hates it. Uh, next question: What's the worst thing about dating a magician? Your boyfriend's a douchebag. <laughs> and everywhere you go, you have to introduce, yeah, this is my boyfriend. He's a magician. That's that's the fucking worst part about it is that he's a magician. I don't, I don't know. I, I went with he keeps pulling handkerchiefs out of my ass, and it just like it's just never ending. It just keeps on going and going. And uh, going. What is the bad part of that? <laughs> <laughs> you have a lifetime supply of handkerchiefs. <laughs> yeah. I guess. You never once have to go, where's a fucking handkerchief? No, you know how you're always doing. Absolutely. Derek? Bird shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's fucking true. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he a good magician? Oh, yeah. He's sure. the best. Okay. Okay. He's the best. Yeah, he turns everything into birds. That's right. Fucking asshole. He's not like fucking David Blaine who thinks it's a magic trick to be in ice for <laughs> three days. Right. right. <laughs> That just means you can tolerate cold really well. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> My uncle was on ice for 13 years. I mean, mm-hmm. what the fuck? <sighs> sure, he's crazy, and he's not allowed to invite in family functions anymore. But yeah. yeah. Ted Williams has been on ice for a while. Oh, yeah. that's a different kind of ice. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, next question. We're going to skip ahead a little bit. We're going to go to uh, what should have happened at the end of the Titanic? Jeremy? Um, She goes through the fucking ship that she's on now and kills everybody by beating them with that diamond. (laughs) And then she stands up covered in blood and just puts it around her neck. (laughs) Oh my God. Takes that drawing, that naked drawing of herself and gets in a lifeboat and goes away. Oh my. All right. That's a little dark. Uh, I'm going to say what a lot of people have said over the last couple of years that there are two people that are able to fit on that floating door, and Jack should have got up on that floating door. Even though there are two people, he should have kicked Rose off. False premise. He tried, and it was about to tip. I don't care. Throw her ass off. 
Who gives I a agree. Fuck? You couldn't have fucking shared. Yeah. Time. I mean. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I think. <sighs> Derek. Right as they're on that door, mm-hmm. and Jack starts to go under, and you don't see him anymore. You just hear. <laughs> 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 I can see your reflection. <laughs> or, or it just it's it's her floating alone on the door. Polo <laughs> <laughs> And then it just fades to black. Yeah. And credits roll. <laughs> oh, that's fucking terrible. It is. Alright, next one. Uh, the ice capades have gone too far. Now they are making blank on ice. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems counterproductive to me. I don't know who's thinking this was, because they have to start everything on fire. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. There's a Pat Benatar song <laughs> called Fire and Ice, which is bullshit. <laughs> Fire and ice, you know what you get? Steam. That's right. And that's what this is going to have happen. Uh, People are going to get burned by steam. There's going to be a lot of lawsuits. Fuck the ice capades. Oh, uh, God damn it. I don't really have one. I, I I just said Schindler's List because that's the only thing I could think of. Okay. Derek. Breaking Bad. Fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Skates, bitch. Oh, mm-hmm. Yes. I'd fucking see that shit all day long. Ice on ice. That's mm-hmm. right. Make the ice like that uh, that blue color. That, Starring that... iced tea. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And vanilla ice. <laughs> right. Vanilla um, ice is Tuco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Next one. Uh, your favorite way to answer your phone just to fuck with the person calling you. Make it quick. I gotta fuck your mom. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. I've answered the same way for years. That is Ernie's erotic videos. This is Ernie. Every year. Or every time. Now, hang on. Do you own a store that sells erotic videos? Or is it a store that has videos featuring Ernie? No. 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 Are they Ernie's erotic videos? They are. Ernie's is a store okay. owned by Ernie. Right. And then if I really want to fuck with them, I'll carry it quite quite far, especially if they know I'm fucking with you. They'll, yeah, Ernie, I need to get a check out this, this, that, and the other. And, mm-hmm. and we just keep on letting it go, letting it ride. Right. Anyway, uh, how about you, Derek? Oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know how the hell she got the whole thing up there. I have no <laughs> idea. We're going to... A couple days now, we're going to go the... Yeah, yeah hello? We're going to need a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. Next one. Hmm. Uh, the worst thing to win on a game show, a lifetime supply of blank. Placebos. What? Placebos. <laughs> well, I've got one of those. <laughs> just, just fucking pills that do nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, I, uh, I went with, uh, the worst thing in the world to win on a game show, a lifetime supply of Merkins. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Guess you really should only need one. I got a giggle. That's, and I, I'm proud of that. How, honestly, how can we pitch Manscaped? Yeah. Surrounded by Merkins. Merkins. Mm-hmm. For what it's worth, I had no idea what a fucking Merkin was. Whenever that yeah. joke was made. Well, what have you been wearing one this whole damn time and you don't know mm-hmm. what one is? No, I, I don't wear one, but it's false pubic hair. That's what mm-hmm. it is. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, Derek. Get yourself a merkin and a cod piece. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Gene Simmons from, or no. Yeah, he's uh, a cod piece. Well, yeah, uh, the other guy, uh, Paul Stanley. Or no, it's Gene Simmons that they fly around like a fucking bat on cables. Yeah, totally. And I guess he will take those fucking stretch pants that he wears and dump out the sweat from his cod piece on the fucking audience. Oh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> and they're fucking kiss fanatics and they just love it. <laughs> well, what do you do? 
All right. Uh, Derek, not go to a Kiss concert. That's what <laughs> yeah. I do. Derek, the worst thing to win in, on a game show, a lifetime supply of blank. Ice cubes. <laughs> Be fucking, it'd be like a Scotty was the host. Do you mean the rapper? No. I oh. mean ice cubes. <laughs> what, what if every day they send over another ice cube yeah, lookalike? Yeah. Toy! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look, we're going to make another barbershop sequel. <laughs> All right. Next one. Uh, Remember when I used to be hardcore instead of these fucking Disney movies I did? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one. Uh-huh. One star hotel review. Terrible mattresses, no towels, and blank. Come on the remote. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh. <laughs> Leg- legit, <laughs> legit story. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about the Norton incident. <laughs> this is one of the greatest <laughs> times I've ever had doing comedy, I w- and I was real due. Uh, my friend Romy, who we're doing a show for in May, needs a kidney transplant. I'm hoping he takes both of yours. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So we were doing a show in Norton, Kansas, and we and Romy was at oh the time, not Delaware, no Norton, Kansas. This oh, okay, time. okay, mm-hmm. yeah, Norton, Delaware. You can't fucking get booked in there. <laughs> God, I've been trying for years. <laughs> it's like Little Hollywood. <laughs> weird, so, yeah. Holly weird, Holly weird, Holly weird. <laughs> How'd I miss that? I don't know. <laughs> so we're in Norton, Kansas, and Romy at the time he's had weight loss surgery, but uh, at the time he was probably. Uh, I don't want to offend him, but I'd say around four to 500 pounds, something like that. Jesus. He's a big dude. That's a big dude. And we get checked in. When you do these small town road gigs, they don't put you in like the Holiday Inn Express. They just put you in something like, I don't know, the R&M Motel. Oh, God. Which I'm pretty sure stood for rape and murder. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully not in that order. Right. Because I couldn't concentrate while looking at those drapes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... We're at this hotel, and Romy gets checked into his room, and he sends us a text message, and he says, I can't fit in the shower, and I'm pretty sure there's gum on the remote. <laughs> wow. So I lost it. <laughs> the best part about this entire show is that we get uh, we get to the show, and Romy started telling some jokes that some of them had uh, some racial undertones, and there was a, a group of uh, Mexican guys that were sitting in the front that didn't speak really any English at all. Yeah. And there was a so white why guy. why wouldn't you sit in the front row? <laughs> there's a white guy in there. They've been drinking all day. Uh-huh. And there's a white guy at the table, and it was when the swine flu, this is how long ago it was, swine flu was going around. And Romy's joke, if I remember correctly, was, I think I got a touch of the swine flu. I haven't been south of the border, but I did fuck a fat Mexican chick at a Holiday Inn Express last <laughs> night. <laughs> that was the joke. Okay. And the guy, then a, a little bit later, Romy talks about using condoms, and the white guy stands up and goes, that's good, because we don't need no more sorry sons of bitches like you out there. Oh, God. And he goes, I'm sorry, sir? And he goes, you you just heard what the fuck I said. I will not be slighted. Oh, <laughs> God. I will not be slighted. So eventually, he goes, this is bullshit, and the bar owner comes over, and he goes, this is offensive. And the bar owner goes, to some people. (laughs) (laughs) So so they escort this guy and his his group of of people that he's with out the back door, and if there's anything I've never seen a comedy show get brought to a screeching fucking halt. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Okay. That, was, that was the same show I did a bunch uh-huh. of jokes about Alcoholics Anonymous, and then as soon as I got done with that, a guy from AA asked if I was in the program because he was. I wasn't. <laughs> and then right after that, a guy offered me to do a shot of tequila in the alley and said I should do mescaline before I went on stage. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. That's that's the way to really get through a, a good right. tight set. Mm-hmm. Is to be tripping balls. Mm-hmm. Right. Woo, Norton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got a prison up there, eh? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. Uh, I guess for mine, uh, one star... Well, back ho- to the question. Yeah, yeah. exactly. One star hotel review, a terrible mattresses, no towels, and a dead body in the bathtub. I had to fucking actually take that body and put it in the trash can myself. It's fucking bullshit. That is bullshit. Yeah. All right, next one. Uh, Hang on, on. whoa, 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 sorry. Moving on. Sorry. Pump the brakes, stinky wrist. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I can't fucking throw bottle caps tonight. All right, what's the question? The question is, one star hotel review, terrible mattresses, no towels, and blank. Incontinental breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) Incontinental. Yeah. It was foreign? 
Everybody there's got to be incontinent. <laughs> Fuck. That means you can't keep yourself from pissing your pants. <laughs> okay. Fair. Older folks have it. People who use, use the pens, they can't keep themselves from shitting and pissing all over themselves. That's great. And that makes for an unfun breakfast. <laughs> okay. You ever try to make a waffle with pissy pants? It's no. not fun. Okay, I believe you. You're the only one close enough to that age to have that problem. Anyway. Hey, I'll piss my pants just for fun sometimes. I know you will. Yeah, sometimes that'll get me out of things. Well, it's it, uh, it's, be, it's being cool. I mean. Sure. It's, it's cool. I'm like fucking Miles Davis over here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Way to catch it. All right. Last question, and then we got to move on to the draft. Uh, so many people love this, but you fucking hate it. Ranch dressing. Really? I, the white trash ketchup. Yes, I fucking hate ranch dressing. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Absolutely. It's disgusting. Ugh, that's weird. I hate it. Uh, you wait tables, and when people ask it, ask for it for like their fucking dessert. Yo. Yeah, and they ask you to heat it up. What the fuck? Yeah, people are fucking gross. <laughs> ranch dressing is number one on that list. Okay. Uh, I went with swimming in the ocean. I won't do it. I'm too terrified of Jaws. Okay. Yeah. That's what your sister's nickname was in high school. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. Megalodon. Jaws. Yeah. Uh, You used to call it Jawbone. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, Jeremy. So many people love this, but you fucking hate it. Uh, Weed. (laughs) (laughs) Why? It it, it annoys me. Why? Well, usually people who smoke a lot of weed can't stop fucking talking about weed. Comedians who smoke a lot of weed, that's mm-hmm. that's the punchline of every fucking joke. Because I was smoking weed. True. And for some reason, it gets laughs. Um, you know, I've tried it. It just slows me down, and yeah. I, I, it's, I don't enjoy it. Yeah. And the fact that just so many people just... I, I know so many comedians who won't go on stage yeah. without smoking weed, and it's like, how do you get through a fucking set? Yeah, fucking Jeremy The Rush. last time I did it... I was working a second job at a gas station, yeah. and it was my last night working there, and somebody had given me some, and I smoked some on my way home, and it was an hour drive to get home, and it took me almost three, because <laughs> I couldn't remember to keep pushing the fucking gas pedal. <laughs> I would look down, and I'm doing like 15 miles an hour, yeah. and it was fucking, I, I just don't like it. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, it makes me fucking paranoid. But weed, weed um. smokers, I think, actually is okay. what I dislike even more than the weed itself. All right, fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our question segment of this week's episode. Again, if you would like to have your question read on the show and get a shout out, do us a favor: go to our TikTok channel at Laughing on the Sidelines or at Laughing OT Sidelines, and go to our Q and A link. Drop us a question if we like it enough, and if it's not the same goddamn question we've done before, we'll read it on the show and give you a shout out. We so really want to know. We want questions about what we can do with other things and in bed. <laughs> that's what we really, that's what we thrive on. That's our bread and butter. Right. All right. So moving on, we got to get to the draft. Wait a minute. <clears throat> I can't have bread. No carbs. No carbs. Yeah. We got to get to the draft, ladies and gentlemen. Every single week we have a draft. Last week's draft was. Uh, you fucking cocksuckers up in Canada would know nothing about it. What was it? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Saturday Night Live. That's yeah. what it was. Uh, I took second. Who won? You did. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Huh? What a fucking prick. Okay. That's what he, I do. I he won win. with... All he, I do is win, He win, won win. with Will Ferrell. The rest of his picks were shit. You should have won with Chris Farley. Well, the rest of your picks were shit. No, I've noticed that, awesome. too. Most people don't go with the cumulative list. Yeah. They pick... The it, one guy. If there's any way you can get Nolan Ryan on your fucking list, you're going <laughs> to <Yeah>. fucking <laughs> win. The fucking draft, because we have a bunch of jagoffs. Any possibility he was a guest host on Saturday Night Live? No. Okay. <laughs> no, they, they had some He was horrible... the original cast, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was the original cast. Um, it was just Nolan Ryan. That's it. Yeah. Starring <laughs> Nolan Ryan, <laughs> Robin Ventura. <laughs> and he wouldn't let us have anyone else on the show. <laughs> Bill Murray. Yeah. I'll never forget that first episode. <clears throat> Uh, welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Nolan Ryan, and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, because of that particular order. he probably played order. for the Mets at that time. <clears throat> yeah. Because of that particular order, uh, looks like, uh, well, 
Jeremy, you're picking first. I'm, I'm picking first, second. Huh? And Derek is picking last. Oh, this, yeah, we don't go to a fucking break before this. Do no, we? we don't. All right. Therefore, guys, this week's draft is going to be something that's going to pretty much show how old we are. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So, Derek, or no, well, actually, yeah, Derek and Jeremy's lists, whew, they're going to be pretty shocking. I don't know. Maybe me and Derek's lists are going to be pretty close. Uh, but this uh, week's episode's draft is going to be Nostalgic Childhood Toys, our favorites. Not best. Our favorites. Our mm-hmm. favorite nostalgic childhood toys. These cannot be... I'm going to make a rule right here, right now. Okay. They cannot be video game systems. Okay. That's bullshit. No, because that is not a toy. Yeah, it is. No, it's a gaming system. Still a toy. What about the individual games? Uh, that's more of a game. Yeah, we did that last week. Yeah. Well, and and yeah. I thought or we decided four. we could have games, like board games or something. You can do board games. This is the shit for all the people that nowadays don't know what it's like to not have a fucking cellular phone to be able to play games and do all that shit. If you want to do that, I thought it'd be fun to do a board game draft in the future, is all I'm saying. Okay, that's but, fine. But God damn, I only play like two of them. That's okay. I was too cool for board games. I was board- getting puss. All right. Okay, so... Nostalgic childhood toys. Jeremy, start us off. For me, number one has to be Transformers. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. I thought you were going stick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sticks. Jacks and a top <laughs> and a ball. That's a good one, man. I totally didn't even think about it. But that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Jeremy, I got dreidel <laughs> yeah, no for the shit. win. Dreidel. Okay, I gotta think. I've got I got anyone I want to fucking pick here. This is ridiculous. Da, 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 da. Okay, all right. I gotta go with something that's very timeless. Cigarettes? No. Oh. Candy cigarettes. <laughs> no real ones. I gotta go with something I was extremely obsessed with, and I'm gonna go with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ooh, action figures. Boy. You asshole. If I didn't pick it. It wasn't coming back. So, Dick Face, you got two. What Jeremy gets to go again? Life? No, that Dick Face is you, fuckhead. Oh. I'm going to go with Nerf. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Nerf. Nerf. Nerf guns. Okay, Nerf guns. Nerf okay. guns, okay. Okay, Nerf guns. Be careful. Because Nerf made footballs. And That's true. God damn it. Shut up, Jeremy. And I'm going to go, uh, me and Jeremy's favorite sponsor, Legos. Yeah. In fact, Nerf had a whole line of other shit long before the Nerf guns came totally. anywhere near. Mm-hmm. Totally. Vibrators, yep. dildos. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, also, my next pick. And I'm going to go with it. Wait the fucking Did... Super Soka, motherfucker. That was Didn't Derek get two? One. Or did yes. you pick two? I nope. picked two. I picked Legos and Nerf. Oh, yep. Legos. Okay. Yep, the Suker so- Soaker. I-, I think it was 50 that I I saw, but I thought it was a 500 and a 5,000 eventually. All right, Jeremy, go. Um, The original Star Wars action figures. Those are old as fuck. Way to show your age. Good job. Dude, I had two of the fucking Hoth speeders. Yeah. I had an X-Wing. I had the Millennium Falcon or Falcon, depending on who you ask. That's one of the most expensive toys of uh, all time is the Boba Fett that never made oh, the it slave to one? Uh, the one that had the projectile rocket on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was That's one of the most expensive toys ever. I, don't ask me how I know that. Okay, you getting to one more? Um, I think this counts because it's not a system. Okay. The Mattel handheld football. Yes, that does okay. count. That does count. With the little fucking red dots. Uh-huh. I almost picked something very similar to that, but I was going to be a late Dude, pick. But I I'm not gonna... played that for fucking hours. Yep. <clears throat> I All right. keister it into school. <laughs> yeah, Along sure. Along with some potatoes. Sure he did. Okay, uh, if I don't pick this, it again is not going to come back, but I'm going to go with WWF action figures. I didn't have those. Those were on my list. They were on your list? Nope. Would you, would you have picked it? Nope. Well, fuck you. All right. Dickhead, get two. Hot Wheels. Fuck, that was my mm. last one. Damn it. No, well, now it's not. Is that really stick. nostalgic, though? Because they still make them. Yeah, it's still, still, still. Oh, you still on Hot Wheels? Fucking played with them joints. Yep. Hmm. Does a Game Boy count? 
No, that's a video game system. It's okay. handheld. You fucking... Okay, fine. Let's Mine didn't have interchangeable games. Yeah, okay, fine. You go to the game system. You know, okay, the, the, which the one? Interchangeable games? Yeah, you know? Which one? Um, Ga- regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega, Sega, Ge- or Sega, what was it? Game Gear? Game Gear was one, yeah. yeah. Fuck I didn't, yeah. I wasn't rich enough to have a Game Gear that was in color. I was, you piece of shit. I'm sure you were, you <coughs> faggot. Yep, I know. Do you guys remember the thing you could get for your Nintendo that would let you play Game Boy games on your regular Nintendo? No. You know, because in case you wanted to play much lower quality shit. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with uh, a little old school. Masters of the Universe. Oh, hey, Ooh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> How did they not know it was Prince Adam? They look exactly alike, except one wears a <laughs> <They> shirt. <do. clears throat> I mean, that's even worse than Clark Kent Superman. My outer, I got one more still. No, no, this. you got one more after this. You're the last pick. All right, I got to go through here. I got to see my my direction I want to go. He's going Polly Pocket. Nope. Fuck you, you jack off. Okay, uh, so Derek decided to take Hot Wheels, and I would have taken that. However, I'm going to go with Micro Machines. Thought you were going to go with Sky Dancers. <laughs> you <laughs> <what>? <laughs> yeah, Derek, those are my favorite. Fucking bitch. All right, Jeremy, you get two. Um, I am going to go with uh, G.I. Joe. Yeah, that's the one I've been waiting for you no, to pick for a while. I never not, played with him, so I couldn't take it. Not, <laughs> not the original post-World War II big fucking, I'm talking a little action figure. No, I, th- I thought you were talking about the dolls. No, no, yeah. the real American hero, G.I. Joe. Oh, I, G.I. Joe and Cobra. You're old mm. enough for the dolls. I am not, you fucking <laughs> ass. <laughs> okay, whatever. Jesus Christ. I fucking quit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. You rip on Jeremy one or two times, and all of a sudden he gets his feelings hurt. Uh-huh. Okay. Go ahead. And then let's go with... I'm going to go with the slot car racetrack. You okay. You yep. motherfucker. Yeah, that was fun as shit. You motherfucker. No really? way in hell did I think anybody was going to pick that. Oh, really? No way I had in the hell. one that went up on the wall? Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck you. How are we even in the same generation of toys over here, dude? I think they still make them. They I do. Mean, they've been a long, around a long they're, fucking time. They're expensive as fuck. You can buy them at Hobby Lobby and they're like $700, but they're like tricked the fuck out, have lights and all kinds of crazy shit. I never could get them to work. They don't work where the fuck on carpet. Oh, no, no, no. You're using the wrong slot car track then, bro. I well, cannot I mean, they believe would always give you way. fucking, I can't believe you fucking picked that. Really? That's, yes. I thought that, because that was on no list that I could find, but it was in my head. And I was oh, like, fuck, yeah, that's, that's going to be my sleeper. That's going to be my last pick. God damn it. Now I'm fucked. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. You didn't print it out on the back of this, did you? No, I didn't. You've uh, done that before. All right, here we go. Stretch arms. Stretch Armstrong. Okay. Okay. Yep. You'd stretch the shit out of that motherfucker. And throw him up against things. All right, dickhead, last one. Fire. Mm. Fire. No, no, don't play with fire. Yeah, you're not supposed to play with fire. Jesus, you can't, Derek, you're you can't, taking your life in your own hands. You can't pick guns either. Oh, Come on. Man. Yeah. Shit. No. Um, no. Do you guys remember when toy guns didn't have the orange cap? On yeah. The yeah. That was so fucking dangerous. Uh, <laughs> God, I got like three or four of them. Yeah. And they're all old shit. Okay. So I'm between either Teddy Ruxpin. Okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I so, figure most people won't. Yep. That was fucking, you couldn't get your hands on one of those for a long time. He, he had the tape deck in the back, right? Uh-huh. Read you a story? Yeah. Yep. Uh, between that one. And um, a lot of people didn't know this. he was closeted but uh he likes sucking cock (laughs) that's funny well you could put your dick in his mouth anyway while it was moving up and down while he read you the story good grief oh i'm between that uh silly putty yep that's an old one but i'm gonna go with the one i actually played with uh, since you made me choose guns i'm gonna go with the nerf football yep I yep. played with that more than a regular football. Mm-hmm. It's easier to play with as a kid. It's smaller, and you could wing the shit out of it. The one that had the wing at the back of it? The whistle? And had the whistle? <laughs> you damn right. Yep. That was actually invented for blind people, by the way. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's what sure. it was for. Yeah. I, I knew that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I used to throw him at this blind kid's head all the fucking time. And never, how... never could catch it. Yeah, that was the vortex. That's what they meant. They invented to throw at blind people. Yep, that's how they are. Because fuck those fuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so what were some of your honorable... They're softer than rocks. <laughs> that's what I used to yeah. throw at them. What was uh, some of your honorable mentions? Because I got a bunch. I got a bunch of these things. There used to be this thing that you could put on your bicycle, and it was a noise effect maker. So it would be like, boo, boo. And oh, it'd have yeah. sirens, and it would fucking have a laser gun and all sorts of shit. That thing was cool as shit. I used to want one of those so bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the old wiffle ball. Mm -hmm. the wi just the wiffle ball. Wiffle ball and bat. Okay. Set. Okay. All right. Have That's you seen one. those fuckers that can Holy throw shit. the wicked pitches and shit? Oh, oh yeah. god, damn. Follow them on TikTok. I'm not that into Oh, them, I, mean, but, I am. Um, I, I, they pop up from time to time. Oh, man, I'm not a fucking, fucking wiffle ball oh, fanatic like you are, Scotty. I didn't realize that we had a fucking expert in the house. I got a bunch of them, man. Um, what, what else you got, Jeremy? Uh, Simon? Remember Simon? Nope. Yep, I do. You, that you got to hit the, the patterns. patterns. Yeah, green, red, oh, red, yeah, green. Yeah, 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 green, yeah, yeah. red, red, green, that blue. That used to frustrate the fuck out of me. Pop it. it yeah. yeah, basically. I, but, but, it was, no, but who the fuck actually liked that goddamn thing? Yeah, Bop It was more about timing yeah and, and it was annoying as re fuck. reacting simon was more about remembering the, the pattern colors. yeah yeah i thought that was way cooler do, Bop, do, it was do, shit do, do. and speaking spell oh yeah yeah there was a guy that went on johnny carson that used that thing and he was he was fucking hilarious. that was stephen hawking what no it was it <laughs> he talked through it no he was a stand-up comedian and he used it as a part of his act and then there's always the uh the cow says, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Scotty's sister says, Fuck my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Scotty says, Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I got Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh, oh fuck. Never played with those. That. Yep. You fucked that one up. I had, I had Pogs. Pogs came. I, like, I was too old for that. I remember them, right. but I don't know what they were. Right at the beginning, you turned them over. They were and like they had, plastic coins, right? No, they weren't plastic. They were actually made out of cardboard. But then you had oh. a slammer, and slammer was made out of plastic. And the whole goal was to be able to flip them over to show the actual side that showed the picture or whatever was on it. Okay. And then you would take the pogs that you flipped over. That was the whole part of the game. So it's kind of like modern day marbles, only yeah, not modern of. day anymore. Yeah. yeah, sort of. I figured baseball cards wouldn't have counted. No. That's why I didn't Yeah, say that. good call. Good call. Uh, I mean, Power, Ra play with them. Power Rangers action anymore. figures. That yeah. was more my era, but I, I, it was a very short-lived thing that I uh, liked to You're talking watch. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Mighty Morphin. Not the, Sabans. Not, mm -mm. not Sabans. Not, not Chris, uh, the Crimson Ranger. Not the Crimson <laughs> Ranger, no. <laughs> the fucking White Ranger, that was a white guy. The Black Ranger, that was a black guy. The Yellow Ranger, which is the Asian chick. Pink Ranger was a white chick. And then with a blue, real pink puss. Yeah, exactly. And the Blue Ranger was gay dude. When I was in junior high, my dad, I used to have a really hard time waking up early in the morning for school, and there was nobody home to wake me up. So my dad used to make me get up when he left for work at six a.m. Yeah. And so I had plenty of time in the morning. Yeah. And so I would watch that shit because it was either that or news. Uh -huh. And boy, is it dumb. I was dumb and shit. But I know it. Yep. Uh, all of those... Uh, they had all, some cool karate scenes. They, they did, but you know all of those were actually Japanese people in those helmets yes, from, from over in Japan. It was crazy. Damn, you could see I'm... their slanty fucking eyes right through that <laughs> and visor. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Wait a second. All right. Now, I got a couple more just real quick. The sticky hands that you would buy from the little... Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, I had Super Bowls. I, I'm surprised that none of you guys picked that one, actually. I'm glad I fucking... I don't know how I missed BB guns. Oh, yeah. That's another good one. You shoot your eye out, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, trampoline, pogo stick, but the last one I was kind of saving for last, and I almost picked it, but I decided not to. Was Skip the it. was the talk boy from Home Alone Two? Yeah. That's whenever you talked into it, recorded it, and you could play it back, and it changed the oh, thing of your yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had one of those. You're yeah. the only person I knew that had one. I had one. I sure did. Ah, oh, my fuck, dad, I got another one. Can I change my, dad my last has one. one? No. How yeah. do we forget remote control cars? Oh, damn. Oh, actually, fuck. Wow. Um, wow, we're dumb. Yeah, back, yeah, back where you used to have to charge them for eight hours to get you. fifteen minutes a year. Yeah, out. yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck. How the fuck did I forget that? I don't know. Guys, Guys have you seen? I'm sure you have these fucking gas powered ones that they got now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're. Oh fuck. my god, they go like eighty miles an hour in real. Yeah, like actual speed. Yeah. So the fucking scale speed on them is off the charts. Right. 
Okay, guys, well, that's our draft. I'll have it up on Facebook by noon tomorrow. Every time I see one, I stomp on it. Make sure that you uh, vote by using the corresponding emoji for your favorite list. Uh, whoever has the shittiest list will get to pick first next week, which is kind of rewarding, and so it's kind of a, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, check it out on Facebook at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, Facebook slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Okay, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fangerbang Beer and... Jeremy? Uh, Legos. Damn right. You know, in the uh, First World War, there was an area between the two trenches known as No Man's Land. It was an area where nobody could move without really being shot, and neither side could advance on the other. And now your children can recreate that entire <laughs> scene of blood and gore and... <laughs> Dead horses caught in barbed wire. Yeah. yeah. All with Legos. Yeah. Unlock your child's potential. Absolutely. <laughs> love it. Love that. Love the Legos. Fuck Always yeah. good. That, old, that Lego bloody horse. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What was his name? Smokey? No. No, that's, that's, my horse. The, that's Oh, that's your horse. I'm sorry. He didn't die in World War I. Oh, okay. no. He died at Derek's hand. <laughs> he, right. died he died in my backyard. <laughs> he died because Derek needed some glue. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. And dog food. Mm-hmm. All right. Jeremy. Yeah. What is this week's shitty situation? What the fuck should I know? You Don't it. include me in your bullshit, you, Scotty. You made it up. I didn't. Yet? What? Okay. Well, you're okay. going gonna to make it up. I'll, I'll make it up. Okay. Would you rather... Take a full month, cash in your 401k, buy a Winnebago, and take a a full grand tour of Delaware based (laughs) off of the shit that we've said. See the sights? See the sights? To see the (laughs) sights. For a month. For for a month. And you basically (laughs) cashed in your retirement (sighs) to buy a fucking Winnebago. (laughs) Okay. I'm I, I'm going brand specific too. Winnebago. It's Winnebago. Be. Okay. Winnebago. Um, or would you rather uh, date a magician who every <laughs> time you introduce him or her to anyone, they do the trick where they pull handkerchiefs out of your asshole. <laughs> How long does that trick last? Four and a half minutes. <laughs> Okay. And every time they're like, um, okay, they're like, no, 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 hang on. There's more. There's more. <laughs> okay. Uh, God damn it. I'm going to Delaware, kids. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Delaware. Yeah, right. Scotty's already dated a magician that did that. It, yeah, <laughs> and it was fucking annoying as hell. Kept on trying to touch my butt. I'm, I'm out. I'm totally out of that. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure we got some listeners in Delaware. Sounds like a good place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With Las Vegas and Chicago and stuff like that. I'm I'm good. All right. Okay. St. Louis, you know. Well, I, I'm going to Delaware too. But, yeah. But here's why. Okay. If I'm cashing out my retirement to buy a Winnebago, I just bought a Winnebago for $13. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can at least get my money's worth back out of that yep. when I resell it after I take in the lovely sights of Delaware. <laughs> Absolutely. And all that it has to offer. And I'm not working for a month? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, let's go. Yeah, bro. I'll I'm Delaware in. it up. I'll yeah. see everything. Yeah. I'll see the Statue of Liberty up there in New York, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. I'm going to go see the, the I've, sites I've, of the Delaware Strip down there in Las Vegas, yeah, Delaware. Yeah, Eiffel Tower in Paris, Delaware. Go see the Pearl Harbor Memorial yeah, in Delaware. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the Gangster Rap Hall of Fame in Dover. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. right. You got to go see you that. You got to go see that. Yeah. Chance you might run into Snoop. I'll wear my Compton hat. Yep. I think you get in half price if you do that. Yep, for sure. Go catch a Dodger game. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Delaware Dodgers. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would love to do that. Well, yeah, the the Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Angels of Delaware. That's, uh, yeah. It's the single A independent team out of Dover, out well, of Delaware. Yeah, but they got Major League Heart. Okay, yeah. Um, listen, oh. everything you just described sounds real good, but God, I love magic. <laughs> I really do. I, I wish I was making that part up. 
Um, <laughs> I know it's not real. Yeah. But I hate when people blow the trick. Uh-huh. Let me fucking think for a minute that it is. Yeah. I don't. I don't go into it thinking they're really fucking magical. But it's cool the way they do it. Yeah. And I have stupid non-dexterous fingers, so I can never pull off sleight of hand of any kind. Yep. So yeah. Uh, not to mention f- fucking free handkerchief. Yeah. So <laughs> for yeah, life. For life. If you marry him. And you know what the upkeep on a fucking Winnebago is like, Jesus. <laughs> 13 got, bucks, it's worth it. It's, it's right. Well, yeah, for years, but you know, I'm fucking loaded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Um, and you got to dump the shitter. Yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm going with the magician, guys. All right. That's how far I would go to stay out of Delaware. Yep. All right. Well, uh, that is our shitty situation of the week. Uh, we do appreciate it. But we do have another segment that we started last week that uh, we're going to continue this week. Another one of those things that we didn't invent, but we're going to claim. Yeah. Well, we didn't invent this one. and um, Nor did we invent the shitty situation. We just renamed it. Okay. It's... It's would you rather. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I get I get what you're saying there, Jeremy. Appreciate it. I'm basically throwing us under the bus. Oh, no, that's and fine. And by us, I mean you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, hack. Yeah, <laughs> thank <Yeah>. wrist <laughs> hack. <laughs> you uh, nasty wristed <laughs> motherfucker. We, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to fucking yell it at somebody just to have them go, what the, what the fuck did he... <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. yep. But You're what right. the fuck crawled up in your wrist and <laughs> fucking died? <laughs> okay, but your left strong bracelet smells like my grandma's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> but she's been, been l- dead for thirty-seven years. Okay. You've been walking around with a fucking wrist cast on, you stank wristed <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Love it. But as long as it's tr- trending on TikTok, we're going to go ahead and do it. But this is the Tell Me Without Telling Me Challenge, and this is the Tell, tell Me Without Telling Me Challenge brought to you by the Laughing on the Sidelines. So this Tell Me Without Telling Me Challenge is Tell Me Without Telling Me That You Have a Small Pecker. Go. Um, But I tell you what, it's so big the hole on the end of it weighs eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who brags about having a big dick doesn't. Right. Especially yep. when they say shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Derek, tell me that you have a small pecker without telling me that you have a small pecker. Uh, the only way I could gag a chick during a blowjob was if I didn't wash my nuts for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Way to go. way, buddy. Uh, mine, uh, mine would be... Uh, I drive a big lifted truck with big mud tires on it. Four wheel drive. Only sees the street. Never seen off road in its entire life. Yeah, but you could take that up to Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could see the sights. See mm-hmm. the sights. Take it up to Talladega up there. Oh yeah, around the All track right. you could. You know, do like a monster truck show there at the Staples Center in yep. Delaware. Yep, but tailgated a Washington football game up mm-hmm. there in Delaware. Yeah. Yeah, but but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay. My uh, my truck's got, gonna be your shiny. Too small. No, I'm gonna. You ain't got a big enough dick to no. go to Delaware. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to our show. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. You guys are doing such an es- excellent job. We are now we we have now surpassed the 125,000 follower mark on tiktok have we really who's we counting have. I, apparently i'm fucking keeping track dude i do that shit every fucking day yeah man. No big deal me. it's pretty impressive thank you to all of the new yeah, followers right, and Japanese. listeners yep. Yep. i always have to start up new accounts on tiktok because yeah. i go up in there and i show off how big my dick is <laughs> i'm sure you do mm-hmm. uh, but thank you guys very very much keep on sharing and commenting on our videos that helps obviously the likes help too uh, but the more the merrier keep on coming in. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as always, we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, you know, the pandemic's over. We hope you go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you get gang raked by Mickey, Goofy and Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, yes. tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, it's nerf or nothing. Damn right. Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>